I found out about the Excel program by my counselor, Miss Brown. She was okay. I was going in to change my schedule when I was in tenth grade. She said it's a new program that's coming out called Excel, and it exposes you to the medical field where you can do hands-on things. I actually feel like I'm starting a career. You know, it's it's giving me experience on what I want to do, which is become an architect. Because we're learning to read blueprints, we're learning the ins and outs of of all kinds of houses, shelves, uh, storages, everything. We're learning how to do whatever. I heard about the teacher program and I've been wanting to be a teacher. So I got into the teacher cadet program. I just love it. It's a lot of fun. It's just, it's not your typical classroom. It's not your typical class. In our strand of Excel, we work with technology and information. We work with a lot of coding, software development, and also web design. In our strand, we are currently working on the Excel web page. I love the program. I like doing things here. And we've been talking about bacteria. Like if the surgery go wrong, we can learn. Well, I'm learning what to do to fix the problem. It's a lot of fun. It's not just sitting in a classroom doing paperwork all the time or writing papers all the time. We've done one paper, but we've done so much field work. Now I know different types of stuff like coding. I'm learning code called Python and Python, it powers Instagram and it also powers Facebook. I learned that you really have to have a passion for this stuff in order to to keep it up. You know, it, it's a it's a hard job, you know, it's it's hard work, you know, but you know, if if you keep the 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 passion for it, the drive, you you'll eventually get it. What makes it different is we actually go to these schools and we actually go and observe teachers and we observe classes and we get to do three different school levels, elementary, middle, and high school. We've already done elementary. We're on to middle school in the next couple of weeks. Welcome to our very first Excel Student Showcase. Parents and students, will you please give yourselves a round of applause for being here today? My name is Shamika Montgomery and I direct all of the career programs in the Little Rock School District in collaboration with administrators, teachers, and our dynamic business partners. Excel is our newest career program innovation that we launched in August of 2017. I tell you, in planning Excel has been labor intensive, but it was, it's, the work was worth it. Looking at the students tonight, seeing the parents in the audience and our business partners in the audience, it tells me that we're moving in the right direction and Little Rock School District is a district on the rise. Can you say that with me? Little Rock School District. It's a district on the rise. <laughs> um, we have planned a showcase for you. You will hear from our superintendent of schools, Mike Poor. You will hear, most importantly, from our students and from our dynamic instructors uh, that started in, well in June and they rolled their sleeves up and they got started and has made Excel what it is today. Now, today when you entered the room, you involved yourself in a project uh, and through, with this project, you were able to do what our students do every day. You were working together, you were collaborating. You were also communicating effectively to build your structure. You were thinking critically, solving problems, and using your creativity and innovation, innovative skills to build your power. You also put forth initiative, and you were self-directed because we didn't give you any instructions. You showed leadership, and you were responsible for the tasks before you. Parents, this is what we ask of your students every day. And this is what we're trying to teach them so that they can be successful within their career, whatever they choose to be. Because the Excel program is all about driving and finding the student's passion or the student finding their own passion. And what we've done as a district, we, we have to start where we are and we take the bridge and we bridge the gap with our community partners to learn what the regional needs are in central Arkansas. So with that, we started Excel and we developed four career programs within our district. And those programs are construction. We know that our young men and women can walk out of the Little Rock School District and find a high wage, high demand job in that field at the age of 18. 
We also have the medical sciences program and there are certifications and, and uh, training that students can achieve at the age of 18 where they can go directly to work. So parents, I know that you want your students to help you pay for college, right? And they can do that without making a minimum wage. They can possibly make a little bit more, 18 to $20 an hour in doing so. We have the teacher cadet program to help us in teacher shortage. That's one of the issues that educators are dealing with across the state and across this country. So what the Little Rock School District has decided to do, we decided to grow our own. Grow our own educators, students who want to become teachers and work within our community and within our schools. And lastly, we have our technology solutions class. You know that the governor of Arkansas is all about coding. But in our technology solutions class, students can choose their passion. It could be security, it could be web design, it could be coding. Um, I actually visited the, the technology class and they were presenting on the, the language Python. And I didn't know that Python was used to create Instagram and Facebook, which is a free download that anybody in America can use to create their own future. So through the Excel program, we also inspire students to be entrepreneurs. It's nothing wrong with going out there to start your own business, to make your own future. You decide how much money you make. Does that sound pretty good, parents? Does that sound pretty good, students? So we are, as you can see, I'm, I'm just excited today to see our hard work come to life. Um, I mean, and it wasn't something that I did by myself. It was with everybody in this room. We've had dynamic partners to step up to the plate from every area. Uh, Baldwin Shell and Napholtz stepped up and donated funds so that we can pay for our students to obtain concurrent credit. Pulaski Tech and the Little Rock Chamber has always been at the table and helping us connect with business partners in the community so that they can help us drive instruction, help educators drive what career paths we need to implement within our district. Baptist Health helped us with giving us a place or a site for our students to have class every day. So when your students go to Baptist Health, they're interacting with professionals. They see nurses, they see doctors, they see hospital administrators. And, and, and it's an experience that, that you can't pay for. They're getting a wealth of knowledge just from, just from showing up every day. Our teacher cadet program is supported by the Arkansas Department of Career Education, uh, Pulaski Tech, and the Little Rock Teachers Union gave us funding to support concurrent credit for our teachers. So this is just not an effort for, from Little Rock School District's point of view. We know that we all have to work together. We have to collaborate to give our kids what they need. And lastly, we have our technology strand. Those students go to Aristotle, which is downtown. So they get on a school bus from their, one of their five high schools, and they, they ride to Aristotle downtown Little Rock. And they see business, business professionals in, in suits and ties and, and polo shirts and they have badges. So your students are getting a real world experience on what it takes and, and, and how they should carry themselves in a professional environment. And the great thing about us utilizing the facility at Aristotle downtown is that students are connected to complete computing, mainstream, the technology park, and other businesses in that area. Um, our business partners not only gave us money for concurrent credit, but they also sat with me and Mr. Poor and other district leaders in monthly meetings in shaping the curriculum for this program. They even helped us interview teachers for this program. So when I tell you this was an, a labor intensive uh, uh, innovation, but it wasn't something that we did alone. The, the entire Little Rock community in the central Arkansas area was involved. So with that, we're going to have our teachers come up and talk about some of the things, some of the expectations that we put forth in our program on a daily basis, and they will also introduce themselves. Thank you. Hello, I'm Lisa Huff. I help Ms. Montgomery coordinate the Excel programs, and my favorite part, though, is I get to teach the teacher cadets, who a lot of them are right here in the front row, uh, and they have been a joy to me. One of the things in the cadets and in all the strands that we've been working on is developing students' professionalism. Uh, we know our community partners tell us 
that many of the people entering the job market right now are not equipped with basic skills of professionalism when they enter the job market. Things like they have to know you have to show up to work, you have to show up on time, you need to treat your, your uh, people you work with with respect, you need to be dependable, people need to be able to count on you. If you're given a task, they expect you to get it done. Um, uh, and a slew of other things. So that's one of the things we're, while we're exploring careers and learning content, in every strand we're trying to develop uh, a sense of professionalism in all of our students. So um, our team has developed what's called the six A's of professionalism. And I'll not detail that right now, but we have a, a display out by the Excel just outside this door. I would encourage you to check that out. We would love to hear your feedback on that, especially people in the community. If you see something we're missing, or you think that, you know, I really wish you would teach your students this, uh, we welcome your feedback. And we know that no matter what our kids do in the future, helping them to become more professional is going to help them advance their future. Good afternoon. I am Cynthia Booker. I am one of the health, uh, medical and health sciences instructor, along with... I am Alicia Wallace. I am uh, actually uh, my co-partner right here, Cynthia. We <laughs> take care of the medical strand. Okay. And what we would like, to, would like for you guys to know, first of all, where are my medical students? Can y'all raise your hands? Ooh. Yes, yes. All right. <laughs> So what we want uh, everyone to know is that we are truly, truly breaking down the walls of education. Uh, we are housed in different, each strand is housed in different areas. Um, for instance, we are, um, the medical and health science area, uh, area is housed at Baptist and also at Metro. The construction strand is housed right here at Metro and they travel to different venues and different sites to work on different projects. Our partners have graciously, graciously provided us with uh, a space down at um, Aristotle. Aristotle. Yes, the technology. I think Ms. Uh, Ms. Montgomery actually said that we are at the, um, they're at the Aristotle. Aristotle uh, downtown. It's an internet service company. Okay. And who else? And we also have Teacher Cadet. They're housed in the Education Building at the Euler Campus, and they travel to different uh, schools within the Little Rock School District to teach. But what we really want you to know is that we do a lot of innovative things. We like to apply practical application to everything that we do. We try to come up with different ways of teaching them. We don't just sit there and lecture to them. We, we like for them to kind of um, read some things, kind of figure some things out, and then come to us and ask us questions about what they've actually read. Uh, we do a lot of hands-on things such as, uh, like I was telling someone earlier, instead of just talking about bacteria, we grow bacteria, we take trips um, to the Baptist Hospital. So we, we're trying to just explore them, um, expose them to different careers, uh, different ways, different avenues of doing things. And just to expound on what Ms. Booker stated, our main goal in the program is to teach students through real world hands-on projects versus the traditional classroom environment. Good evening, my name is Regina Howard and I am the instructor for Technology Solutions. I, this is my first year with Little Rock School District. I worked in industry for about 17 years from various companies like Alltel, Verizon, IBM, and Raytheon. And I've always wanted to be a teacher, so this year actually has been like a, a dream come true. I have the best students, and I'm working at Aristotle. And I'm going to get into what I'm supposed to say before I, you know, do my own thing. <laughs> but field experiences and an extended, extended internship allow students to interact and, and work alongside professionals in the field. Students get to meet and see professionals, as well as explore different careers in a particular field. So for example, in technology, we're at Aristotle. And so we have access to those employees on a daily basis to, I guess, interact with them and gain knowledge on their areas of expertise. Also, just on a personal note, the employees like interacting with the students, whether in the break room or on the elevator, I think those are the places where we have the best conversations. And we've had two field site visits to mainstream technologies and also to the information network of Arkansas. 
And that's been really nice because they basically shut down for a couple of hours and just spent time with us and answered the students' questions and also allowed them to ask questions just about, you know, why they were in this, the Excel program and, and what they hope to gain. Last week, we had the opportunity to celebrate Techtober, if you get it, October technology, <laughs> by going to the, attending the Little Rock Tech Fest downtown at the State House Convention Center. And that was a lot of fun. Um, the students got to hear from industry experts in application and software development. And the real cool thing is, since we've been on a couple of site visits and we work at Aristotle, it felt really good to actually know people at the conference. I was like, nah, isn't that cool? But uh, we, we basically get to explore careers from a different perspective, and um, students have more insight in, into what they actually want to do. So I'm stepping in for Mr. Myrick, who is the construction teacher here. He was unable to be here tonight. But uh, the last part of this is to tell you that the Excel program really tries to tap into each individual student's particular passions. Uh, you know, I've been in teaching for 20 plus years and most teachers have a curriculum or a syllabus that they have to teach and so you don't necessarily get to choose uh, the content that you get to explore. It's sort of predetermined for you. In Excel, that's not all we do. We, kids do learn content and particular knowledge in their field, but probably more important than that, we have time to allow them to explore what they are interested in, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, in the construction, for example, I know Mr. Myrick was talking about in the construction field, when, when I think about construction, I think about people with hammers and tool, tool belts and building things. But he explained that in the construction industry, there are many jobs that you can get, uh, depending on what your interests are, anywhere from drafting to designing to being an estimator on job sites, to the actual building, to moving into management, uh, or even working for places like Lowe's who can't find qualified people to manage and work as estimators, all kinds of jobs. So kids have the opportunity to decide, so what am I interested in? And then they can explore that field, uh, work alongside experts, whether that's an architect or a, a plumber, or an estimator. They get to decide what their interest is. Now I believe we're going to hear from our students who are most important. So guys, if you would like to just come up here behind this podium here and line up, we'll just let you step up here to the mic one at a time. We are all very proud of our students and we've asked them to just share from the heart uh, what what kind of impact Excel has had on them, what the program has meant to them, what they've most enjoyed about it, what excites them. Uh, so I'm just going to turn it over to them, and they're each going to share a very brief blurb for you. Uh, how you all doing? Uh, my name is Travell, and I attend Little Rock Central High School. I'm a senior, and I excel at technology because I've been learning some cool things, and I've been, some, and I've been going to cool places. Like last week, we went to... We went to a tech fest, and like next week we're going to St. Louis to go go to this hackathon. So yeah, <laughs> so I joined Excel because I want the game more experience in technology. So that's basically all. Thank you. Hello, how's everybody doing today? That's good. My name's Stephen Blake O'Ran. Please call me Blake. Uh, I excel because I feel that I have so much to offer the world and so does all these other students that are here behind me. Whether you're in construction, technology, medical science, or teacher cadet, we all have excelled in our own ways and I feel as if we all deserve a chance, you know, to be Sorry. <laughs> to be the best students, the best workers, and the best people that we could be. Thank you so much. Good afternoon. I'm Carrington Prophet. I'm Carrington Prophet. I'm a senior who attends Little Rock Central High School. I am with the Teacher Cadet Strand. 
Before entering this program, I wanted to go to college to be a to major in journalism to be a journalist. But this program, Teacher Cadet specifically, has made a huge impact on my future and on my decision because now I'm interested in teaching. Um, we've done a lot of great things. We met tons of great people. Like honestly, like if I wasn't in this program, I don't think I'll meet the people that I've met so far. Um, we're in great schools, and I just feel like this Excel is a great opportunity, and I want to thank you, Ms. Montgomery and Ms. Huff and everybody else. And yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Maya Dahlstrom. I go to Little Rock Central High School. Um, I joined Excel because I wanted to become a teacher for a few years now. I definitely knew I wanted to be an elementary school teacher. So far, we've been able to go to one elementary school called Bale Elementary. If you guys know where that is, it's just like five minutes away, not even from Euler. And I had a fun experience there. I especially love my little first grade class. They were all so curious and just like wide-eyed, ready to learn, and they were just a lot of fun. Um, we're going back during the last five weeks of school as an internship, and I definitely want to go back to that class. I, this program has helped me not only understand the technical side of teaching, but also the lasting impact it has on its students and the difference that we as teachers can make and I want to be a good impact because that's what I've had with most of my teachers. I want to continue that cycle and make sure all these kids want to learn and will learn and will be successes when they grow up. Because of this, I excel. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Desmond Davis. I'm from Little Rock Hall. Uh, I excel because we have a, a whole lot of uh, hands-on experiences in our program. Like the um, last week, we had we had swabbed our phones and to see all this what kind of germs we had on our phones, and we had all this mold and stuff. <laughs> really nasty. But uh, like in a regular class, I wouldn't get, got to see that, and uh, this is why I said. Hello, my name is Yareli Godino. I'm a senior at Hall High, and I excel because we work, we learn through hands-on, through hands-on experiences. And the Excel program help us. The Excel program has a platform to network, which help us develop communication skills. I am now advocate to teamwork, which helps me excel in projects. Thank you. <laughs> Good afternoon, my name is Laura Fuentes and I attend to Parkview High School. I'm a senior. Um, I, ex I excel because we have explored different careers in the medical industry. Our instructors have really exposed us to different things and this is why I excel. Thank you. Um, hi, I, I apologize, I'm a little nervous, but um. <laughs> My name is Jalen Stewart and my name is Falsino Santana. And we are a part of the construction technology and management branch of the Excel program. Um, in my experience, I say that I excel because I have an opportunity that a lot of people don't get the chance to experience. Um, I figured that this class would be a bunch of book work and stuff, but it's actually hands on. We got our wood in the shop, we got our own tools, our own pouches everything we need more than enough nails. Um, but, um, you know, we're, 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 it feels more like a, a, a career instead of a, a class or a job because I enjoy what I'm doing. And I'm gonna be honest, I honestly started the class because I wanted to be an architect, but um, I figured that if I can learn to read a blueprint and build anything from a blueprint, then making them would be nothing. And that is all. Well, now that my partner just left me. <laughs> okay. Well, my experience in this class is awesome. I like this class. I don't, I don't like it. 
I love it. I love it. My teacher, he's pretty good. I love him. And not too long ago, his wife passed away. And it was hard on all of us. But, you know, we have to keep our heads up. Not, we're not going to keep our heads down. We can keep it up. Wait, you're going to work hard for him. He's not just a teacher. He's more than that. But ever since I was eight, nine years old, my dad got me into construction. And I loved it ever since I was a little kid. He taught me everything, all my safety. And I'm very thankful for him. And now that I'm in this class in Excel construction, I am learning more than I know. The things, there's some things that I still don't know, but uh, that's why I have my teacher. He's gonna teach me, teach me everything I know. And that's all. <laughs> Good afternoon. My name is Diamond Milton. My name is Michaela Thomas. And we are a part of the medical strand. I excel because I have the best teacher ever, and that's Miss Wallace. Um, in class, it's kind of like a lot of hands-on activities. We're always doing experiments, like somebody said. We did the germs. We went to Baptist Hospital, and we got to tour things. We got to sit on a helicopter, and I'm afraid of heights, so that was a big step. <laughs> and we always just have fun in class. Like Miss Wallace plays music every day to kind of help us focus. Look, who said, don't, don't put her out there like that. She plays music, good music, Christian music, every day <laughs> to help us focus and have our minds right. And she's always fun and energetic. And whenever there's a problem in the classroom, she shows us how to handle it the professional way. Being in this class has really helped me branch out more. At first, like at the beginning of the year, I would not be able to talk in front of you guys like I am now. I was really shy and I really couldn't even say hi to people without being bashful and getting all shy. But it really helped me open up and without this class and Ms. Wallace, I don't think I would know exactly what field I wanted to be in. I knew I wanted to be a nurse, but I didn't know what field I wanted to be in nurse. And I was like, oh, I just want to be a nurse, but I didn't know what field, but she really helped me discover what field I wanted to be in exactly, and I'm really thankful for that. She really helped me develop into the person I am now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, don't cry. <laughs> wow, there shouldn't be a dry eye in this room. <laughs> well, I want to call up the visionary behind Excel and career programs for our school district. Um, Mr. Poor came on board a couple of years ago, and I mean, I think I was the first phone call he made on his first day as Little Rock School District Superintendent, on a Saturday, by the way. <laughs> he was really serious about changing the way we do business and career education for this district. So please join me in welcoming our superintendent, Mike Poor, for comments. <laughs> First off, I, I just love the, the kids getting to just share out. Now, as a parent, okay, think about this. I, I, here's a reality that had, happened to me about three weeks ago, and I don't know which of the three girls it was that was in this room, but uh, I was at J Fair, and I was leaving J Fair, and all of a sudden, a bus comes up and unloads students. And three girls come running towards me, and I keep thinking, how do I know these girls? Where did I see them? You know, and how do I know who they were? And they come running, and I said, ladies, where are you coming from? And they go, we're, we're from Excel. And I go, you're kidding me. What career strand are you in? And so they said, medical. Now, the next question was a leap of faith, because I'm a parent, too. Now, I don't know how you all have done with your kids, but this is my reality. When I've asked my kids, what did you have, what happened today at school? Oh. <laughs> Well, did, did, you, uh, did anything kind of crazy happen or something funny? Oh, mom, you know, or dad, you know. Uh, 
<laughs> What'd you have for lunch? Just, I don't want anything, you know, I'm just bake. But I asked these three girls, what did you do today? And it exploded. They were talking over each other. <laughs> saying, we learned about infectious disease. And as the stuff at Baptist Health, and they just kept going on top of each other, running on and on and on and on. And I was like, wow. Okay? That's what this is about. Okay? Is kids being engaged. Now think about your own life, parents. What class got you juiced up? One, you've got to have great instructors, right? Makes a difference. Game changer. Second is, you were excited in a class where you felt like your own skills were able to be used and recognized, and that you got to have hands on. If you were hands on, you could be into the class. If you just had somebody talking to you the whole time, you might be shut down just like anybody else. And that's not what this program is about. Now, get this, parents. Do you realize? That just by your students graduating, I don't even know if our students know it, I'm not sure our teachers totally know it. <laughs> but do you realize that if your students graduate this class, automatic scholarship next year to two colleges already, just because they're in the name Excel? Two colleges. <laughs> there's one in Missouri, okay? And there's one down in Arizona that's an automatic scholarship because they're already tied into this concept of what Excel is and what the CAPS network, which ends up being about 70 schools, that we're a part of. Some of the best districts in the country, and Little Rock's a part of it too. Now, I want to have all the folks in here that are business leaders or they're on our advisory group, can you just please raise your hand right now, because I want us to recognize all of those business leaders and entities. are uh, business leaders, they're educators, they're people from our, our college. We have a great partnership with Pulaski Tech Community College. Unbelievable. They, they can't do enough. And we have Bitten Wallace, who's a, a dean, vice president of the whole shebang, uh, you know, here. But, you know, hands on, President Ellaby, hands on, totally into it. Business leaders that are ready to go do things. The, the, the neat thing about this program is it's just a start, okay? And, and you all are on the ground floor, whether you're a parent or a student or a teacher, of having this first year because it's significant. It's significant. Today we had a waiver approved by the state that allows teachers, which several of these teachers are in this situation where they have taught at the college level, but they may never have taught at the K-12 level. They've been in the fields of medicine or technology, but maybe they haven't taught in the K-12 world. We got a waiver today from the state that allows us to have those kind of people teach our students because they're they're professionals in their own career areas, which then are helping out with making things make sense here. And we're not stopping. Okay, so next year this program is going to get bigger. We're going to use this type of stuff to help us recruit. We hope you can help us share the the words out because what you go say tonight to somebody across the fence, or what you go tell people at work, or what you go say to people at church on Sunday about Excel, it'll help us explode this program. Because it should be for more kids. Because what you just saw with the kids' testimony and some of the work that's already being produced, this is the kind of thing that we should be doing more of in education. So I am really, really proud of, of what's gone on so far with this program. I'm excited that, that the turnout we have tonight, thank you for supporting uh, your students, and thank you for, for supporting our district. Ms. Montgomery said that we're a district on the rocks. Okay, so I just, I can't help, but I gotta give you a little three minute elevator ride. Real quick. Okay? Do you realize that, you know, people could say all this stuff about Little Rock School District, but here's something you go tell them back. Okay? You go tell them that last year we were one of 12 school districts out of 250 school districts that improved in every single grade level, third, fourth, fifth, on up to tenth grade, on that ACT Aspire, which the students are like, Ugh. but we approved in every single area when you do an aggregate score for third grade of the five different tests. Same thing with fourth and so forth. One of 12, now they'll go a little farther. We are one of three districts, one of three out of 250, that met or exceeded its expected growth. What that means is we look at tests two years ago, test that took last year, and we add in the free and reduced lunch, kind of creates a level playing field. 
Okay, so that you're kind of majored against a district like I came from, Bentonville. Bentonville didn't have that. But guess what Little Rock did? Three, we're one of three districts that met our senior. Last thing, you're a senior. We had the best ACT out of all the Pulaski school districts, public school districts. And we improved by 0.4. The state went down 0.8. That's Little Rock schools. And that's all of you helping make that a reality. The students, you took the test. Parents, you've been in there with us. And it's a district on the rise. I want to make sure that Mr. Burton gets recognized. He's our deputy superintendent and has been along for this ride. If you get to talk to him afterwards, you know, he will share uh, thoughts about what we're trying to do as well. Both of us are going to be around. Um, parents, i got to give you props, okay? That, I know some of you are just nervous over there. You're back there, especially you here. I, I'm, a, I'm impressed, you know, you, compared to what I did. I don't want to show you what mine looked like. But. Thank you. I, I hope you're proud of what's going on. I'm so proud of your, your kids. That's the thing we've got to most remember. Is look what's going on with young people to help prepare them. They're going to have certificates. They're going to get concurrent credit out of this thing. And they're going to have connections to visit people who are going to go help them out. Okay? That's really powerful. Have a great rest of your evening. I'll turn it back to Ms. McGovern. Thank you. All right. Well, you've heard from our students. You've heard from our, our great leader. Um, what we have out in the lobby are some of the projects that our students have been working on. And if you want more information about that, uh, the students, will you please go on out and take your, seat, take your places at your project so that the, our, our parents can learn more. But this has been uh, a great ride, and we look forward to improving and doing more with career opportunities for our students in this district. They understand that everyone is different. You know, they have different passions. They have four different fields, but there's so much within those fields that you can do that, that it, it, it is really made for everyone specifically, and that's hard to do, but they, they succeeded at it, and I love it. I'd just like to say that the program is great for students. Any student who is eligible to join, I think that they should join absolutely most. Definitely join the Excel program. Yes, they should join Excel. It's a great learning opportunity for the kids. It teaches them a lot of hands-on opportunities and gives them uh, skills uh, for their future and, and their future career that they plan to um, excel in. So I would say it's a great opportunity. It's a great learning experience for the kids. If you want to become a doctor, go to the medical field. A doctor or a nurse, go to the medical field. If you want to build stuff, go to the construction. If you want to work with technology, go to the technology strand. If you want to be a teacher, go to the teacher strand because these are really good hands-on and it teaches you if you, it lets you know if you want to work with this, pro, if you want to work in that career field. Or if you feel like, hey, maybe this isn't it for me, let me try something else. It gives you a chance to do that before you go off to college and spend all the money. I think we should join this Excel program because it really helps us out and it gives us a good feeling of the occupation that we want to pursue after high school and college. You get college credit for this program. It's a lot of opportunities you get here that you can't get nowhere else. 